Hello YouTube. I'm dedicating this video to all of the people who are in the process of accumulating orgone. And I'm also dedicating this video to people who are skeptics of orgone. Uh, I'm trying to shed light and bring your attention to a bold statement that I'm about to make, which is neutrinos are the same thing as orgone. Now you may be asking yourself, what is neutrinos? What, what's a neutrino? Well, the Department of Energy in the good old US of A is asking the very same question. And they are spending hundreds of millions of dollars trying to understand what neutrinos are also. And they are funding about 13 different neutri neutrino labs around the world. And uh, they are extraordinary. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm about to list off a few of them for you that you should check out because they all, all of these neutrino labs look like gigantic orgone accumulators and one that I think you all should be paying very much attention to is called Super K. It's in Japan. It's somewhere between a thousand to two thousand kilometers or meters, sorry, underground. And its sole purpose is to study neutrinos. Uh, another neutrino lab that is huge is the Gran Sasso in Italy, which looks like a gigantic mojo inside of a Joe cell. Uh, it also is underground, along with the Canadian neutrino lab in the town of Sudbury, and it also looks like a gigantic mojo encased inside a Joe cell. <laughs> I mean, go figure. I mean, they look just like our layman orgon accumulators. And the Department of Energy is spending tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, on each one of these. And there's 13 of them around the globe. So, you know, go check them out. I mean, if you're a skeptic of orgone, uh, you might want to look into the neutrinos and, and the brain power that is behind the study of neutrinos. So, do yourself a favor, if you're having any kind of skeptic or questioning thoughts about the science of orgone slash neutrinos, uh, I would uh, seriously look into it. Thanks. Bye.